Good afternoon, this is DW. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to disconnect and reconnect the PTO switch and do a test. So the PTO switch is the yellow and gold switch that you pull to get the blades working. This is normally situated at the top, inside there, and obviously to get it out, you stick your hands behind, depress these units here, just push them in, pull it out, and then just pull it off this connection block. Now, to test if this is good, uh, because what the problem was is we were cutting the grass and the grass, uh, sorry, and the PTO suddenly stopped, stopped well, the blade stopped turning and uh, you should never assume it's the PTO straight away. Uh, so we're doing a test on this. Now I actually know this is now no good because that was one of the first tests. These units are about 20 something dollars. I think I paid $26 from my local John Deere tractor supplies. Um, so it's worth swapping over, obviously if it's damaged. If not, you're talking about $291 for a PTO uh, clutch, which is more expensive, obviously. Uh, now I've got a continuity tester here. As you can see, it's turned on, off, on. You've got your ground and your, well, I call it a negative. You being English, it's uh, ground and uh, live, positive, negative. Um, test the old, testing the old one. Let's just start with that one, shall we? As you can see, yep, that's probably it. That's the front. That's normally going facing down towards the feet area when you plug it back in. So this is a normally closed circuit, and what that basically means is when it's depressed in like that when it's off, when the blades aren't going. The circuits here, the two not bits here, the two pins should be going beep. Yeah. Not the bottom two, they, they go beep anyway if there's a circuit, which there is. But just to show you what I mean, that's the noise it should be making. So that's when, that's like that. And then obviously when you pull the switch for the blades to turn, it should stop. Now push it back in, no noise, and the terminals are not touching. So that's a faulty unit. Now, here's one I bought, like I said, and if I do a test at the bottom. It's open at the moment. Close it. And as you can see, the terminals are not touching. And that's the sound it should be making. Now, if I pull the switch out, it goes off. So, that one is the new one. The old one has got to be thrown away. So I'm going to put that one back in and all you do, again, just simple enough, put the pins in the right direction. can only go in one way, you can't mess up. Make sure it's nice and firm. That goes to the bottom, the pictures, push in. And that's locked in. Always remember when doing any tests to this unit, just take off the battery, one of the leads, you know, the positive. Um, I keep the battery safety uh, covers that come with it just so I can put over it. So that's that done. I am going to be showing on the next uh, video how to change the PTO clutch if it is actually the PTO clutch. Um, and it's not really hard probably about half an hour of your time. Uh, make sure you just get your 
tools together. There's uh, some screws you'll have to take out. Um, so I'll show you that on the next video. Have a good day. Take care, my friend. Bye.